not difficult, but just that little bit of pressure of time, and even though it shouldn't be a factor, might just make a little mistake. It's fine. <laughs> you sure it's absolutely flying around the table. Yeah. We don't have the peeps yet. Well, oh, well, she might have been worthy just taking a little bit longer over that shot, maybe. And he's been left a yeah. horrible yeah. shot. Yeah. This is a big shot for Anna. She's rushed into it ultimately. Yeah. So Get the sense that if there's no shot now. clock there, a few extra feathers, compose herself a little bit more. Yeah. You don't get that time. <laughs> Teammates ready to party. <laughs> Moroccans are buzzing. And they are flying as well. This for 3 0. Wow. Here he goes. 3 0. Just turning the good. crowd there. Golden break, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that since still in play. But yeah, we, we're flying here. The Moroccans are here for a good time, not a long time. It's and Yusra Balazri just misses that first shot. May cost her. Because Kola has a great chance here. Yeah. It's actually a decent break without making a ball. The splits come out quite nice. Yeah, Alina just has to work work her way back down the table after this one. I think the, the most difficult one is the one beside the black. Well, is she on it? I don't know. I don't think it slides past the yellow. It's closer to the pocket, does it? it? Might go top right if she gets underneath her work. Yeah, it could actually. It's difficult to get there, though. Yeah, she's find this gap between the two reds or she's going to just pull it back before them. Um, some trouble here now. Oh, does she have a double to maybe go out there? The yellow closest to the left side rail. If she's got access to it, she could have a shot here. No, it might no. be another one, though. Just going to run off her, I think, yeah. Well, not much to go out for you, Sir Belazri. I promise you, that will not stop her. <laughs> Must be some buzz to play yeah. in this sort of atmosphere, honestly. I think she's reluctant to play a safety. <laughs> yeah, but she knows it's the right shot. <laughs> Just short. <laughs> Oh, well, good shot by Yusra. <laughs> Atmosphere it is playing. absolutely brilliant. Everything, yeah. We're, st we're still not even lunchtime yet, Scally. No. <laughs> if that covers the yellow, it's not a bad shot at all. Looking for the loss of turn, it doesn't come in. The shot here, you throw it down to the middle. Would she take it on? Yeah, if she does get it, could be a chance. <laughs> French definitely need this frame to get back into it. I know yeah. there's a long time to go, but. Yeah, she's got a sense of all the momentums with the Moroccans, and it's it's almost like we're at a sort of 
I feel like we're almost in a football commentary here and you got quiet in the home crowd early on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're getting very boisterous, very vocal. Yes, we're just feeding back. It's not too bad. <laughs> this frame looks like it's going to drag out a while. Yeah, uh, do you know what? I, I actually really like this approach from Ellen. She's almost leaning into the Moroccan attitude and thinking, well, if you've, you're, you, I know you're going to go, whatever I do here. Yeah. I'm always going to bait you into it. Her yellows are ready to rumble. She just wants a shot at it. At the minute, if Yustra Belazri can keep on taking on shots to nothing, you get the feeling she's going to make one sooner rather than later. Because she's not leaving anything for Ellen. Ellen still happy to be patient. You can do yeah. that at this stage in the match. Still 22 yeah. minutes to go. I think she's but looking for the ball in hand as if she can try and get it at all. Yustra is just going to, I think she's just pulling on everything. They go, they go. Well, this cue ball will be. Oh she no, she is safe, playing no. safe. She's prepared to, prepared yeah, to wait. She's, running. she's playing the clock now. Have you ever heard a reaction like that to no. a safety <laughs> shot? <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I, we said earlier that. A lot of the players have never played on this kind of shot clock and match clock environment. I'm not sure Ellen Kula has ever played in an atmosphere like this. No. And it requires a certain type of character to perform well in it. Oh, that's a bad shot from Yusra and she knows it. Yeah. <laughs> Go for a walk. She's having a great time out there. But Ellen, she's a very cool, calm customer, and she's keeping true to her roots here. Yeah, she knows how important this, this frame is. To get. Mr. Pelazzi does have a shot. There's a shot here. <laughs> I mean, what a part. Oh, she's got a shot on the red. I can tell you that because I'm just watching the crowd. Oh, nearly quick. Got the blackout as well. Should have been plumb on the eight ball as well, you know. Great effort <laughs> from you, sir. They're really enjoying it, aren't they? Oh, yeah. It's a good shot from Ellen. She may again elect to play safe here. Her yeah, yellows are still a little bit smelly. That. But I think it helped her there that she went into the red ball and made sure it wasn't sitting over the middle pocket. Yeah. I Means she's got a bit more license with this yeah, safety. She just followed through on this and just leave the white behind. Yeah. But she left the gap. Uh, she left the gap. Wow! There's your what answer. A shot. <laughs> There's wow. your answer. <laughs> She's played to the crowd. And a shot in the black. Yes. No. Yes. No. Helene is on huge, under huge pressure here now. Helen still has a route out here. Yeah. And this shot is key. She has to land short position on the yellow on the left side. She looks a this little a bit big, thin big here. Shot. I think she needed to come in and out of the top of the table yeah. to have the chance. She needs to back her abilities now. She could kick this yellow, other yellow out just above the black if she gets that. I think that's the shot. Yeah. 
Oh, not to be. Wow. And Yusra Belazri is going to roll in this eight ball. Good. And Morocco are 4 0 up on the French. And look what it means. What a break. Crunches the break. Almost jumped the cue ball off the table, but it stays on. And Hind has the chance. Now we know she's going to attack. Red to the ball here, I think. Yeah. This is. Wow. Great pass. I'm telling you, these Moroccan girls can oh, pop the ball. They can pop balls. The one thing that's let them down, I think, in the team event has been their sort of cue ball control. And when they've got tied up in matches, they've been, they've been able to Why? be out-tacticked by, by certain teams. But if you get them behind a pot, all these Moroccan girls can seriously fly them in. It's gone. They can pot what a ball. A shot. They can wow. pot a serious ball. Hind Banani is flying. Morocco wow. are flying. These are something. This is the shaking out. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I think she's perfect. In and out, Russian. Yes. Well, that all, that's okay. Take it. Well then, Hing Banani. Two shots I away from a five-zip lead. Never in doubt, was it? This. Never Whoa. in doubt. This is unbelievable. <laughs> what a finish. Whoa. What a finish. Hing Banani, that is amazing. Morocco have won two matches in the team yeah. event out of 13. France have won 10. And you wouldn't think between the frame difference. I think there's nearly 80 frames between the two of them in the team events. It's, it's crazy. Well, Marion Jude has broken those beautifully, and she needs to start cooking. France have got just under 14 minutes here, and they need to win five frames at least. Five will force a shootout. Six, of course, will win the match. They need to keep Morocco off the table. Just looking around the arena here, I'm just, I'm just watching people who've been around the ultimate pool scene for, for three years now, just with complete shock on their faces. <laughs> yeah. I see, we see, we can see a few of the ultimate pool pro. I think Shane Thompson, Carl Sutton, and Aaron Davies are in the front row. I they look that. like kids on Christmas Day. Yeah. French girl has a route out here now. Yeah. So. Carl Sutton's there as well, I see. Paddy Clark. And it's been a very good finish so far from Marion Jude. All the French players watching this one, not just the, uh, the members of the French team. See Ines Aguilera there in the middle of the group. She's been in the individual events. Oh, Great shot, ball. Marion. Brilliant shot. Marion's been a player that I've watched a few times this week. And there's a lot of ability there. You can see that. But I almost feel like she's a little bit indecisive sometimes and just second guesses herself. Actually, on this shot clock, she's forced just to go. Oh. As I say that, I put the curse on her, obviously. But that was a good finish until that point. Yeah. 
Mariam Alami then to go and win the match for Morocco. You'd have got some seriously long odds on a 6 0 at the start of this. I think Marion's taking more time over this shot than she did in her first frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I can tell you from, from the minute she got down to the table on her first red in that first frame, the balls were gone a minute and six seconds later. They were all gone. Wow. That was in the first frame. I don't think Marion will struggle on a 15 second shot clock. She might be playing on it in this frame. Yeah. Because we go to it in about a minute and ten seconds. Marion needs a shot here. She can see the yellow. She's got half a sniff. It's a big positional shot. Yeah, she's going to force this. Yeah, yeah really got tough. Got the cue ball. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. So 15 second shot clock time. We know it's not going to bother Marion Malami. I think Marion is just playing the safety now. Because she's going to try and run down the clock as much as possible. Or does the yellow the balls on the table to do that? As long as, long as she keeps trying to keep the white safe as much as possible. What do you reckon, Scally? Yellow off the red here. Um, wow. That'll do. You called it. <laughs> That'll do. I love that the Moroccans are giving their flowers to that shot yeah. as well. How does Marion get this yellow into a hole though? She had no choice really to put yeah. herself into trouble there. She Eight ball's gone even safer. Same pocket back down into the corner where she is. Oh. Oh, it was tracking. Oh. 15 second shot clock then. It was a tournament director, Zach Leonard, announcing the 15 second shot clock then. Shot. And. Zach is the godfather of shootout pool. <laughs> One of the tournament directors here at Ultimate Pool. And the shootout was his and Will Caldwell's baby. And I saw Zach about 10 minutes ago after the Moroccans cleared the first frame there. And he's sat in the crowd. He's, he, yeah. he, he is on a jolly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he loves it. He absolutely loves it. This would be a big finish. Oh. What a shot. Mate. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Maria Malami is just flying. Pulling shots out of... <laughs> she is just unbelievable. Well, this is an amazing result. Morocco wow. knock Six. out France. Six, Six frames to nil that with just under nine minutes left on the clock. Well, out here with Mariam Alami. Mariam, that was incredible. That was so much fun to watch. What was that like to play in? It was so much adrenaline, so much fun. We, uh, we had uh, the, the blast. We won 6-0. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's very uh, extraordinary. If I'd have said to you before this game that you're going to play France, one of the best teams in the tournament, and you're going to win 6-0, and they're not even going to get a frame, and you're going to be over in 20 minutes, what would you have thought? I wouldn't have believed it uh, because uh, we uh, played uh, with them in the teams and uh, we've lost. And we, with, uh, when we played the shootout, it was uh, amazing. I don't know what happened. I uh, firmed, uh, I um, played uh, the first match and it was a, a firm. I don't know what happened in this match. Well, it was a blur to us watching as well because it was over in a minute. You flew the finish out. It was incredible to watch. <laughs> it was. I felt like that set the tone a little bit for the rest of the match. You came out as the first frame, knocked them in in a minute, and it got your teammates, it got the crowd really excited, and it just carried on going. It was. Uh, they told me that I, wish, uh, the, I should be, fa I should play fast, and they were screaming. Uh, I didn't know what happened. I just uh, closed the table at one moment. I uh, I saw the table and it was done. It was, and it was amazing. And the good news is, we get to do it all over again because you're into the next round. And how much are you guys looking forward to being back out here again in this setup? Very excited, and we're looking forward to uh, play with the next, next team. Oh, we can't wait. We can't wait to watch you enjoy the celebration, Marianne. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. So much.